Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? Your man, Eric Wilson here, Sports Arena, live in the house today. This is a very special episode that I wanted to bring to you, the fans. So thank you for tuning in, and I really appreciate it. As I do on my show each and every time, as I get started here on the Sports Arena, let me just say this, and I will continually say it. We need justice for Breonna Taylor. We need justice for Elijah McClain. And we need justice for Vanessa Gillian. That being said, my guest today, I'm honored and privileged to have him. He is the WNBA general manager and head coach of the Chicago Sky, Coach James Wade. Coach, good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Uh, there we go. We got you. I'm doing well, man. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Sports Arena. I really, really appreciate it. So, Coach Wade, I know that you are uh, pressed for time, getting set up for tip-off, which is coming up this Sunday against the Las Vegas Aces. But I wanted to take a moment and kind of just have you talk to the fans and my listeners here. You know, second year, general manager, head coach. Not a lot of men can carry both those hats and do them as well as you have. Can you just speak about a day in the life having both of those positions? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough because, you know, you, you have to, um, get ready for the here and now and also prepare for the future. Uh, so you try to do what's best for your franchise. We, we made some moves that some people, um, uh, maybe figured was, uh, unconventional, uh, last year after building off the season that we had. But, uh, when you have a new CBA that you have to think about and, you know, actually, how you can afford the players that you have on uh, the core players that you have and, um, you know, trying to stay under that budget and, and do those things. And then three years down the line from now, it's just trying to make sure that, you know, your future is set up um, to just flow smoothly. It's, it's really tough uh, because it, it, it falls. Sometimes it, it conflicts with you having to win games right now. And, um, you know, we just try to do the best for the franchise so we can win now and win later. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a, that's a tough, you know, line to, to kind of, uh, balance yourself on. Yeah. And like I said, not a lot of men can, and women can, can handle both those positions. So it's, it's very reassuring to me when I see a man with a stature such as yourself, who was able to not only be able to have that in the moment mentality, but that forward thinking vision of how do we keep this train rolling? So I have to ask you, being a head coach and a general manager, has there ever been a time throughout your entire career where you just took a moment, took a step back and said, wow, this is what I get to do every day? Like just relish the fact that you have such a, you know, a high profile position that you have two of them, you know? Um, I mean, I, I count my blessings every day. Um, I don't know if I get a chance to just sit back and just appreciate it as much. Um, me and me and my my wife, we talk about it sometimes, you know, uh, when we were in quarantine uh, at home, we, we talked about it sometimes. But I, I don't get a chance to just really um, be in that moment because I'm still, you know, driven on on the goals that that I have set for for myself and the goals, you know. Um, that I think this this franchise has for me to lead them to. So um, no, I I I I guess I, I I do appreciate the moments, but they don't you know they don't sit with me too long because um, I try to be as driven as possible, and and being driven means always thinking, trying to think two steps ahead of everybody else. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. Speaking with Coach. James Wade, head coach and general manager of the Chicago Sky here on the Sports Arena. So with the collection of ladies that you have currently on your roster, I have to ask you, what are some of the attributes that players need to have in order for Coach Wade to kind of like, OK, she's someone who I definitely want on my radar? Um, you know, I think a lot of it goes with the heart that they have, um, the ability to work well with others. You know, talent, of course, uh, is it speaks volumes. But uh, the ability to work well with others and to buy in, uh, that's that's basically what what I look for. Um, and, and that passion, uh, the passion that uh, got you to the point where you're on the cusp of, of being a WNBA player or the passion that 
um, has made you a successful WNBA player. That's that's what I look for because um, mine is going to be there. Right. And so I just look for you to match it. Okay. So speaking of that, I want to do a little word association here with you. A word or a phrase when it comes to your players. So this is in no particular order. So let's start with uh, let's start with Allie Quigley. Uh, Allie Quigley, um, underrated. Okay. Uh, Stella Johnson. Um, uh, tough and timid. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ka Cooper, Khalil Cooper. As real as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that for my next one, but okay. Diamond to shield. Um, uh, special and misunderstood. All right. Cheyenne Parker. Uh, unique. <laughs> Azure Stevens. Uh, unicorn. Mm, interesting. Okay. Uh, Gabby Williams. Blue collar. Interesting. All right. Stephanie Dolson. Alive. Ruthie Herbert. Uh, smart baby. Has she got those offensive rebounds that you needed her to get? No, nah, not yet. <laughs> okay. All right. Still working on that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Courtney Vandersloot. Uh, heart. Awesome. I believe, uh, I, you know, uh, Sydney Colson, even though she's not there with you, with your team right now. I mean, I guess, I guess I don't, I don't mean it. Uh, I can say man's best friend, but everybody's best friend. Okay. All right. And then uh, another young lady who's not joining you or not in the wobble with you. And that's uh Jontel Lavender. Auntie. Okay. Awesome. So, you know, given this unique opportunity and being in the wobble and having such just everything thrown at you from not having a season to knowing you're going to have a 22 game shortened season coach what's the driving force behind the team this year uh i think the driving force is uh, we want to be the best team that we can possibly be uh, we've seen how it is when we came together and we've seen the, the transformation uh, that we've made as a team. Uh, but it's time for us to take the next step. And whatever that step is, we don't know, and we're not going to put a limit on what, what it may be or what it may not be. But um, uh, the driving force for us is just to be the best team that we can be. And we know that we need every bit of buy-in and all the health that we have to get there. So uh, this is a special season that we know, and we don't have any margin for error. Uh, John Tell's not here. And um, Sydney's not here at the moment, but hopefully she'll get here soon. So we know that everybody has to do that much more. Yeah. And uh, I, I love your hashtag this season. It's no ceiling. I, I actually, you know, I follow you on social media. So when you gave that inspirational speech to the team, letting them know, listen, we're not setting expectations or limitations on ourselves this year. We have no ceiling. We are continually going to move in a forward trajectory and we are going to go for that championship. That really spoke you know, just to the mindset of what a great coach is is doing and empowering his players, especially, you know, these young women in the WNBA. So when it's all said and done, head coach, general manager, how do you want to be remembered? Uh that was a that's 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 a good question. Um I'm I'm gonna be just as serious and frank as, as possible. I Please think, um, um, I don't really care about being remembered. <laughs> okay. I don't, um, 
I'm I'm nobody special. I've always believed that I just am who I am. And basketball is way bigger than me. And um, this world is way bigger than me. So I just want to just trickle off into the dust. Um, I don't really I don't really I don't really care. Um, uh, I, I'm I, like it's so many great coaches that's I, I will never be one of them. Like you have Cheryl Reeve and you have uh, Mike Tebow and Bill and Beer and Brian Agler and Dan Hughes and all these people. So uh, just for me to be, you know, in the conversation with them right now. But after I'm gone, it's it's OK. Yeah. Well, Coach, uh, let me just say this. You have made an impact in, in my life and thank you for giving me this opportunity. So if the rest wow. of the world don't remember you, I'm going to remember general manager and head coach James Wade for giving me the opportunity to to have this time with him here today to be able to cover and interview the Chicago Sky. Best of luck to y'all this season. It has been an honor and a privilege. And, you know, one last piece I want to make sure I tell everybody I've already shared this on my social media and I'll do it again. You know, you wrote a story on July 17th. It was published about an experience that you had. And I have told everybody they need to go read this. They need to know and understand something as simple as standing up for yourself can be viewed as a negative when it comes to being a black man in America. I I cannot tell you, I've read it several times. It has done my heart so much good. I have shared it with everybody. I'm gonna continually share it because you truly encapsulated such a powerful moment. I am very proud to say that I know you and I thank you for this time. Wow. Eric, that's that's humbling, my man. I, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Um, yes. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, WNBA general manager and head coach, James Wade. Coach, I, I know this is going to be a great season for y'all. Best of luck to you and to the ladies. We This is not the last time we will talk. Have a great day. I, I'm sure I'll talk to you sometime this afternoon during the uh, Zoom media calls. Yeah, for sure. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for your man, Eric Wilson, Sports Arena. Hey, everyone have a blessed day. I will talk to you guys really soon. Please stay safe. Let's all be kind to one another. Have a good one. Say it.